Bachpan Bachao Andolan has released a report on child labor, corruption and black money. It's quite revealing that child labor has been proven as one of the biggest sources of generation of black money as well as corruption. We all know that despite legal provisions, constitutional guarantees, India has a dubious distinction of having the largest number of child laborers in the world. At least 60 million children or 6 crore children according to non-governmental data are working in India. Most of them are working in agriculture sector but a large number are engaged in small scale industries, mining, brick kilns, stone quarries, domestic child labor and so on. This is also the denial of childhood, the denial of human rights and child rights, denial of present and future and freedom of a child and dignity of a child. But this report brings an additional dimension that while children are working, how the black money is generated. There are simple calculations. The first one is the difference between the wages being paid to a child laborer and an adult laborer. The second thing is what has been shown on the account books by the employers. And the third thing is that how the money which is generated as black money is used for further perpetuation of child labor as well as uh, perpetuation of black money and corruption. An amount of only 15 rupees per day is spent on a child laborer by the employer as compared to 115 rupees floor wages in case of adult workers. It means 100 rupees difference is saved on per child and that immediately goes as black money. If we take a conservative number of 200 days as working days per year, then 6 crore children altogether will earn 18,000 crore rupees per year. In case of adults, they would be earning 138,000 crore rupees a year. So the difference is huge, 120,000 crore rupees. That is equivalent or even more than 25 billion dollars a year. This is simply black money. This money is used to bribe the politicians at the time of elections in the party funds as, as, as well as in other ways. This is also used to bribe the local enforcement agencies, labor inspectors, police inspectors and so on. So they just um, keep a blind eye on what is happening uh, with the children. So that perpetuates child labor. Today we are demanding that employment of child labor is not only the case of labor legislations or bonded labor laws or other criminal laws or recovery of wages etc but it's also a serious financial misappropriation and financial financial um, embezzlement in generation of black money so in each cases that has to be properly studied properly investigated and then the money has to be recovered from the employers because that has gone as the black money